Hi, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. It's great to be in your homes with you again. I want to just take a moment and say what a great week it seems to have been. Um, I've noticed so many wonderful accomplishments from children and young adults who have been graduating and whether that be from high school or college on to the next big thing and we're just so proud of you and I just want to say it's really wonderful to be able to celebrate with you just a little bit even in this very difficult time. As we are moving towards uh, Shavuot, I'll tell you that we do have Shavuot services. We will have them in the evening on Thursday night, as well as on Friday morning, which will include Yiz Um We are going to um, look towards our book that I keep referring to, which is this Omer Counting book uh, with Karen Kadar. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, 17 through 19, as interpreted by Rabbi Rami Shapiro. And I'd like to offer that to you today. What shall you do? Work yourself to distraction? Distract yourself from work. Neither extreme is desirable. Better the middle way. Eat and enjoy your food in the company of friends. Work and enjoy the capacities of body and mind. In this world of seeming separation and divided minds, there is no escape from impermanence. Do not build a fortress against loss or lay siege to eternity. Rather, open your eyes to the wonder of the fleeting and make of each moment an opportunity to do what needs doing. Your days are few and you cannot know which will be your last. Appreciate the moment, sharpen your mind, live with attention, live without expectation, and let sorrow and joy take care of themselves. As we continue with our Omer counting, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al sefirat haomer Praise be you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, instilling within us the holiness of mitzvot by commanding us to count the Omer. Today is the 44th day, six weeks and two days of the Omer, beginning tonight. And now we think of our loved ones who have recently died and who have died at this season in years past, and we remember them and their lives to be a blessing. At this time, I want to call to mind specifically uh, that we are still um, remembering Rabbi Sigma Fay Karan and are in a period of Shloshim for Chad Gottschlich and Sherry Berger. We're also observing the yard sites for Leonard Abramson, Andre Ballas, Stanley R. Barnett, Isaac Belenkin, Hannah Block, Robert Brackman, Leland Charles, Adele R. Cohen, Ella Daneman, Earl Dorsey, Harris Fleece, Nathan Gershow, Samuel J. Harris Sr., Ida Himmel, Ben Kaufman, Rosetta R. Klein, Sydney A. Kotler, Emmanuel Kritzer, Harry Leventhal, Rose Matasoff Levinson, Sarah Finkelist Levy, Wolf Marcus, Samuel Margolis, Louis R. Marks, Rose Meyer, Anna Monshine, Joel Noble, Edward Pacernick, Harry Patterson, Joy Rosen, Rose Rasachan, Lucille, Ro Lucille Rubin, Minnie Rudin, Deborah Schwartz, Florence Schwartz, Arnold Schwartzman, Judah L. Smith, Richard Umel, Kenneth Weinberger, and Herbert Weprin. And of course, all who we list know in our hearts. And if we are in need of it, please be pronouncing those names more correctly in your heart as well. And we'll think of all of your loved ones and all those we have not mentioned but for whom we are grieving. 
as we turn to the words of Kaddish and we rise if we are able. Yit gedal vid kadash meraba, ve alma divrach yute viam lif malkute, ve chaye chon of yome chon, u chaye de hol beit Israel, ve agala uvisman kariv ve inru amen, yehesh me raba mivarach le alam ulalme almaya, yit barach ve ishtabach, vit vaar vit romam vit nase, Vit hadar, vit ale, vit halal, shime de kucha, berivhu, le ela min kol birchata vashirata, tush bechata venechemata, da amiran bialma, vimru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, ve chaim alenu ve al kol yisrael, vimru, amen. O se shalom bimromav, huya a se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Zichronam livracha, may the memories always and only be for a blessing to us all. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom, a Shabbat of peace, a Shabbat of well-being, and a Shabbat of family time and community, whether it be virtually or with those who live in your home. May it be one of blessing. Shabbat Shalom.